Welcome to the Inventis Flute Tutorial video series. During this video, we will have a look at how simple it is to carry out the reflex decay test on Flute Plus and the Eustachian tube function tests with Flute HF or Flute Plus. To conduct the reflex decay test, the operator should simply press the dedicated button on the keyboard. The status of the probe and the progress of the test are indicated at the top left of the screen. Lower down, the screen shows information about the ear side under test, the ear canal pressure to be set, and the characteristics of the current stimulus. Four different graphs are available for each ear. Graphs are shown two by two, and the operator can navigate from one to the other using the right-hand control knob. Before starting the exam, set the stimulus activation time to be 10 or 20 seconds from the settings window. Introduce then the probe into the patient's ear canal and start the exam by simply pressing the start button on the keyboard or on the control box. The display will show a mask while the pressurization starts. Here, the user can set the side, frequency and intensity of the stimulus. When ready, simply touch the stimulus button to start the acquisition. Once the exam is completed, just below the graph, the test results will be shown, including the timings of activation and deactivation of the acoustic reflex. Eustachian tube function tests for patients with intact eardrums are available on Flute Plus and Flute HF models, while for patients with perforated eardrums, only on Flute HF. Access the Eustachian tube function with intact eardrums by simply pressing the corresponding button on the keyboard on Flute HF. Function button 4 is then used to switch between ETF for intact eardrums and perforated eardrums. On Flute Plus models, it is possible to access the ETF for intact eardrums from the tympanometry test window by pressing the dedicated function button. This test protocol is based on the automatic acquisition of three tympanograms under different patient conditions and, since the interface is very similar to that of the tympanometry test described in the previous video, we will skip a detailed description. Then introduce the probe into the patient's ear canal and start the exam by simply pressing the start button on the keyboard or on the control box. After the completion of the first tympanometry test, the patient is asked to swallow several times, thereby forcing the opening of the Eustachian tube. Once the patient has complied with the instructions, simply press the continuous function button to start recording the second tympanogram. The same procedure will be repeated for the recording of the third tympanogram. Results of the examination are shown on the right of the window, where the ear canal volume and the peak pressure values of the three acquisitions will be displayed. The Eustachian tube function for perforated eardrums can be performed simply by pressing the function button below the display of Flute HF. The test is based on monitoring the pressure status of the ear canal after pressurization. All the parameters of the test can be set directly from the ETF screen. In particular, the user can select the pressure value to be set in the ear canal, choosing different values between minus 600 decapascals and 400 decapascals. Even here, start the exam by simply pressing the start button on the keyboard or the relative button on the control box. Results are calculated automatically and displayed on the right-hand side of the window. The three pairs of numbers are the initial, 
and final pressure values registered during significant pressure variations. Accordingly, these pairs of values can identify the pressures at which the Eustachian tube opens, indicated by the label O, and closes, indicated by the label C.